It's day three in Los Angeles today. Today we are heading to Santa Monica and Venice Beach. We're also gonna do Rodeo Drive because we didn't get to do it yesterday. By the way, I am wearing a, a top. It just doesn't look like it in this viewfinder thing. Um, yeah, we're gonna do Rodeo Drive on the way there, but last night we did the Grove and like LCMA and it was magical, like exactly what, what I imagined it to be. If you guys are ever in LA, definitely check out both of them, especially at nighttime. Like I wanted to really see them at nighttime because of all the fairy lights and it was just so beautiful. Like I was like in heaven. I loved it, but yeah, now we're gonna hit up Rodeo Drive and then head to Santa Monica Beach and we're probably gonna get hire a bike and do Santa Monica to Venice. But yeah, I'm sure you guys will see that anyway in the clips, but let's go. anything it's blinding me but yeah it's so cool here Whoops. I'm just in this camera. it's so cool here I'm just like waiting to see a celebrity because you see all these like Rolls Royces and Ferraris and shit driving by I'm just like creeping praying I see a celebrity soon and now we're off to San to Venice now. We were going to get a bike, but why didn't we get a bike? Because <laughs> um, we wanted to take photos as we went. Yeah, we wanted to take photos and when we go to Venice we want to go to like the canals and stuff. It might be too annoying with the bike. So we're heading to Venice. <laughs> so Californian.
back from our day at Santa Monica and Venice now. It's half past 11 at night time so we are absolutely knackered. We got home and had a shower. I am so tired and we have to wake up at 5.30 tomorrow to go to Disneyland which I'm so excited to go to the name. I am so excited to go to Disneyland. I'm just so tired right now as you can probably hear from my croaky voice. It's been so much fun. Seeing Santa Monica and Venice Beach in person was amazing. I'm so glad I got to see it. I also forgot to mention the funniest thing that happened. So we caught an Uber home from Santa Monica, which is about like half an hour drive, but we had other people in the Uber as well. Cause in America they have like Uber pool so they can pick up other people on the way and it's so much cheaper. It's like a quarter of the price, but Anyway, we did that and the lady we had was hilarious. Like I was literally in stitches the first half of the ride. It's usually a half an hour ride, but it probably took us like over an hour because we had to drop off other people, but it was still like an awesome drive because we've never seen LA. So it's fun to like drive around. Um, but yeah, she was hilarious. And then she like started talking about me and Andy and was like asking how long we'd be together. And I was like four and a half years. Then she was like, oh my God, like why are you not married yet? Or like, are you gonna propose to her soon, Andy? And he was like, oh, we're, we're just waiting to get the moment. And she's like, why? Like, why won't you propose? Like, give me some reasons. <laughs> and it was just so funny. Like, he was so awkward. And she was like, don't you imagine your life with her for the rest of your life? Don't you imagine her, like, being the mother of your children? And he's like, yes, yes. And she's like, so why don't you put a ring on it? <laughs> it was hilarious. But it was, like, the funniest car I'd ever. Like, I wanted to just, like, tip her a million dollars, even though I don't think he'd tip an Ubers, but... That was funny, that was definitely one of the highlights of my day and I wanted to add this into the vlog so that I remember it like in the future when I look back on this but she was hilarious and definitely made Andy squeal on his seat. <laughs>